Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where life's many questions and challenges will be addressed with inspiration, with humor, and real talk. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. Before we start the next episode, I want to thank everyone who has taken the time to listen to any or all of the Try Again with Monique episodes. Please continue to listen as we are improving all the time. I would love to have your direct involvement in a future episode I am planning titled Real Talk. In that episode, I will read and respond to your answers to the question, what is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? What is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? Please leave a voice recording at my Linky page. That is linky.page slash try. L-I-N-K-Y dot P-A-G-E slash try. Once again, that's linky.page slash try. And I need you to click on the talk back button at the bottom of the page and then leave me a voice message answering that question. What is one thing that happened to you this week that made you feel loved? And I, uh, if you do that for me, that would be great. And then know that your responses will appear on my Real Talk episode coming soon. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, now let's get ready to hear today's episode. So today, I want to talk about Russia's invasion of the country Ukraine. We have all seen the horrific and heartbreaking images of the wreckage, of the blood, the injuries, the Ukrainian people packed together, attempting to leave by foot or train. War is ugly, and it has devastating effects on everything, the people, the infrastructure, the economy, and there are no winners. What I want to zoom in on today is a different image. The image of ordinary men and ordinary women who have never used a gun before, arming themselves to defend their country. High-level government officials who are not hiding out in bunkers or fleeing the country, but who are suited up, ready to fight alongside trained soldiers. And the image that has been impressed upon me the most, President Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, who out of the ashes of war has himself taken up arms and decided to fight alongside his soldiers to defend Ukraine. President Zelensky is showing Ukraine and the world the type of leadership that boosts morale, that inspires people to act on their convictions, and that sets the path for how a leader should act and react in a life and death crisis. Zelensky is not only displaying a type of crisis leadership we have rarely seen in our time, but he is by example charting a course for ordinary men and ordinary women to become great leaders themselves. There is a quote, true leaders create an environment in which everyone can develop their potential. Another quote, true leaders don't create more followers, they create more leaders. President Zelensky has risen to the occasion, horrible as it is, and has inspired me, and I believe so many of you, in ways that I've only been inspired by leaders like Martin Luther King. They are the type of leaders who stand up for what's right and defend their rights, even with their own lives. There's another quote, stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand alone. Fortunately, this type of crisis leadership rallies the call of people who want to join forces with someone who has the courage and the guts to fight back when being oppressed. Both Zelensky and King also share in their passion to solicit the help, the cooperation, and the partnership of people who don't look like black people or Ukrainians. They both want people to understand that what happened to black people and what is happening to Ukrainian people is a humanity issue, not an isolated occurrence. They both tried and are trying to get people to see the collective issues and repercussions. President Zelensky is quoted as saying, do not be silent, support Ukraine, because if Ukraine doesn't survive, if Ukraine falls, the whole of Europe will fall. Similarly, Martin Luther King, or MLK, as I'll refer to him going forward, tried to convey to America that the oppression of black people is a humanity issue, an American issue, not a black people issue. 
There's a scripture that there is no greater love than this, that a person would lay down his life for the sake of his friends. Zelensky has clearly shown that he is willing to die for his country, his people, and his cause. I mean, there's so many examples of this crisis leadership that he's teaching us right now. His response to America, offering to remove him from Ukraine for safety. He's quoted as saying, the fight is here. I need ammunition, not a ride. His fierce loyalty to his country. He's quoted as saying, I am here. We are not laying down any arms. We will be defending our country because our weapon is truth. And our truth is that this is our land, our country, our children, and we will defend all of this. His courage in the face of overwhelming opposition. He's quoted as saying, as you attack, it will be our faces you see, not our backs. His keen sense of priorities at the highest level of leadership. At his uh, 2019 presidential inauguration, he's quoted as saying, I do not want my pictures in your offices. The president is not an icon, an idol, or a portrait. Hang your kids' photos instead and look at them each time you make a decision. I mean, are you inspired yet? How could you not be? If this wasn't real life, and it is horrible, and it is real life, I would think that this is a movie like Die Hard with Bruce Willis. Does anybody remember that movie? That sort of larger than life response to a crisis. I mean, how often do you hear a high level leader saying, let your kids, not your money, not your prestige, not your position, not your personal gain, but let your kids be your reason. It is so inspiring and refreshing to see that type of leadership in real and modern times. In America in particular, high levels of leadership usually come with posh accommodations, perks, entitlements, but not real and sustained contact with ordinary people during a crisis. Soldiers here and in many other countries are sent to war, not joined in the war. Zelensky in current times really stands out among the rest, in my opinion, and I believe history will show him, like MLK, to be one of the greatest crisis leaders we've ever witnessed. Because who you really are shows when your back is against the wall, not when everything is going well. What is in you will inevitably come out of you when enough pressure is applied. Zelensky understands the assignment and is leading his people with consistency of character, with bravery, with determination, with guts, and with grit. I don't know about you, but I don't see many modern day leaders who display that type of leadership and who follow the call to the point of death literally willing to lay down their life for a cause, a country, and a people. So while we are praying for Ukraine and watching the horrible events unfold there, I want to make sure that we aren't losing sight of the real-time leadership lessons President Zelensky is teaching us. He really is an open book on crisis leadership. Class is definitely in session for those who are paying attention and ready to learn. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment and leave a review wherever you are listening. I enjoy feedback and would love to hear what you think about the podcast and the topics. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to or watch Try Again with Monique, wherever you happen to be. Please remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. Please like us on Facebook as well. Episodes will be posted weekly. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.